Hi everybody. I have a feeling that this is going to be a fun video because of this right here. This is the 2019 SeaDoo RXT X300 and it's all about going fast and having fun. So in this video, I'm going to do exactly that. We'll hit the water, I'll ride aggressively and then we'll see if this thing can properly live up to the hype. Let's do it. talk about on this RXCX, but on this model we have to start with the engine. This is a 1,630cc supercharged engine that makes 300 horsepower, although you do have to run 91 octane fuel to get all those ponies. All right, now let's take a look at a few features that are unique to the X model. And the first one I want to tell you about, which we will demonstrate very soon, is launch control. Yes, this thing has launch control, so you can take off in the best way possible. Now next, this X model gets these soft knee pads right there, and that works along with what Can-Am calls its ergo lock design. So it really gets skinny up front here, allows you to squeeze your knees into there and really hold on. Something else we will definitely test out very soon. Down here in the footwell, we have these angled footrests which essentially again just help you kind of get more leverage so you can really plant yourself into place with them then we have of course the BRP audio system two speakers on either side and they're pointed directly at the rider so they really are loud even when you're running along at full speed now next up we have different sponsons on this machine there are the sponsons right there these are actually called X sponsons according to SeaDoo and they're just going to be a little bit more aggressive than other models and really help you to bite in the water when you're turning. Now out back here we have a nice looking swim platform and this is also a little bit different from the other models. So another thing I want to demonstrate is the link system on the back of this machine. It allows you to attach a number of different accessories. So we can see here you just undo that clasp and she pops right off. You fit it back into those cleats. Only one clasp on one side and boom it's on there nice and tight and i do like this storage box but i especially like the idea of having a fuel caddy back there and being able to carry extra gas nicely safely and securely let's look at storage here in the rxt and just like other c models on this st3 hull you have the little glove box of course you have the cell phone holder now here you can actually get a usb port to charge up your electronics doesn't come standard though on this model uh, I really do love that cell phone holder, a really smart feature. Now to pop the big storage open, you got a handle on either side of the steering, or the bars here I should say, and that lifts up. So right directly in front of you, you have your fuel filler, and then this absolutely cavernous storage area, plenty big for whatever you might have with you. You could fit a couple different picnic lunches in there, no problem. And then up here you got a safety kit and your fire extinguisher, and the real key to of this is that because it's right in front of the seat everything moves out of your way you can reach in from a seating position which is nice all right everybody almost time to ride let's just run down the specs before we do so the dry weight 828 pounds while the passenger capacity is three and the weight of the passengers can be up to 600 pounds now overall length bumper to bumper is 135.9 inches, width comes in at 49.4 inches, and the overall height here is 45.3 inches. Like I mentioned before, 300 horsepower out of this model, which is just absolutely beastly. And finally, the colors here are new for 2019 as well. Cannot forget about the colors. Here on the RXTX, we have Eclipse Black and Lava Red, and this thing looks really good ripping along the water. So what do you say we get out there and run? Well guys, I've done pretty good protecting myself from the sun, but I did get the sea dew burn. Inside of the leg, fine. Outside of the leg, not so fine. Inside the leg, fine. Outside the leg, not so fine. 
You can always tell someone who's been up at PwC based on the way their legs are burned. All right, everybody, here we are on the hot rod. This is the RXT X300, and this thing is just an absolute monster. So first of all, 300 horsepower, it just jumps up out of the water. Now, thanks to the intelligent throttle control, which is CDU's throttle by wire system, this machine has sport mode, touring, and eco mode. And really, the difference is in the way it launches. I mean, top speed is limited, so it's not about top speed, but take a look at these clips, and you can see all three modes and how they launch out of the water. Okay, eco mode launch in three, two, one, go. The launch in normal in three, two, one, go. Okay, here comes full sport mode launch mode in three, two, one, go. And there's another thing that plays along with that launch, launch control. So watch this clip and I will show you how the launch control works. So on this machine, to get the launch control on, first of all, you put it in forward by tapping that handle and then you hold both trim buttons on the VTS at the same time. And there it is, launch on. Now what launch control does here is essentially just controls the trim back there. So when you come up out of the water, it'll make sure your nose doesn't jump up too tall. And then when you're picking up speed, it'll make sure your nose is right at the optimal height for top speed. Now I wanted to measure a zero to 60 with launch control, but my app on my phone needs you to be at zero. And as you can see right now, we're moving along at about five miles per hour. So first we'll launch just with launch mode so I can tell you what it's like, and then we'll measure a proper zero to 60. Here we go. Launch control launch in three, two, one, go! You have to make sure you're holding on with both hands or else you're going right off the back. Oh, with launch control, it's a bit of a punch in the gut when this thing takes off. It really is unreal. So now let me try to get you a good zero to 60 time. All right, everybody, now it's time to try for our best zero to 60. So I'm gonna use this app down here on my phone, which is gonna time it for us. Now the tricky thing is we have to start in neutral and there is a bit of a delay going from neutral to forward. So this won't be exactly precise zero to 60, but it should give us some idea. And I'm hoping for at least sub five seconds. I don't think that'll be an issue. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I also have to start the app. It's gonna count me down, three, two, one. I gotta slam this thing shut. There's a few things working against me for the fastest time, but whatever, we're gonna try it anyways. So here we go, get ready for a launch. Okay guys, so that launch right there, 4.95 seconds. 4.950 to 60, so I got sub five. Now when it comes to dynamics, the RXT here uses the same hull as the limited luxury models and even things like the Fish Pro, which I also tested, so stay tuned for that review. But the, the difference is in the sponsons, these are more aggressive, so they're really gonna help you on turn in and to just hold the water to allow you to really do some tight turns. And you can see some in the clip here, but let me just tell you that this thing, I, I couldn't find the limit of it, let's put it that way. I was riding as aggressive as I felt comfortable and I was nowhere near the limits of this machine. Now there is one step up from here, the RXP model, and that is specifically designed for racing. And it's, it's apparently, I've never ridden one, but much harder to control and, and much more involved. So the RXT here really is sort of uh, offering top levels of performance to people who aren't necessarily, you know, seasoned PWC riders. 
Start riding this machine hard and it's immediately clear that the ergonomics here are set up very well for aggressive riding. So first you have the foot wells and you have these new foot rests. They're angled up like that. They really allow you to plant your foot and get a good solid foothold. And then we have the ergo lock design. And the biggest part of that to me anyways is the way that it gets really skinny here between your legs and you're allowed to hug the machine using your knees. Now these thigh muscles are some of the strongest in your body so being able to use them to really hold on is just one more contact point with this machine and with something with so much power having more to hold on to is a good thing. Also playing into ergonomics is the adjustable handlebars here and what I do like is the handlebars when you adjust them they actually adjust with the screen so if you put them all the way up and then you end up in a standing position you're gonna have a clear look at that screen still or if you bring the handlebars all the way down the screen follows so you can sit and see it clearly. Speaking of that screen, that is the same just over 7 inch unit which is being installed on just about every single sea model and actually a bunch of Can-Am off-road models as well. Now the screen offers lots of information, it's nice and clear, easy to read and right in the Florida sun there's no real washout or anything like that. One last point about ergonomics, these handlebars and the actual handholds here, really nicely designed for your hand. I love this big thumb grip, it gives you some sort of side grip on your thumb which is nice and then you have support for your palm. Everything about these handlebars is aggressive and also comfortable and you know what, when you are riding an aggressive machine, you want it to be comfortable because over a long period of time, a couple of hours, you're going to get fatigued so the more comfortable the machine is to ride, the less fatigued you'll get and this RXT is clearly focused on keeping you out there and riding. Okay everybody, that's it for the RXD X300 and let me tell you, this thing is an absolute monster on the water. 300 horsepower rockets you up to speed and then it's super stable plus when you turn in this thing bites the water. It's an absolute blast to drive. Now that's it for this review. Why don't you guys go in the comments, let me know what you thought. Of course while you're down there hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and then come right back here to TFL for the latest news views and real world reviews. Now if you'll excuse me, you know exactly what I got to do. Let's go!